Hey guys, in this video we're going to look at the running time of the insertion operation on a heap. So here we have a heap, specifically a max heap. Um, so we have to make sure that it follows the max heap properties, that all the children are less than or equal to its parents. So 4 and 5 are both less than or equal to 6, and 6 and 9 are both less than or equal to 12. So let's say that we want to add a new element. We're going to say we're going to add uh, element number 16. What we do is we place it here. And now the uh, maximum number of operations for this element 16 will be uh, swapping it with the 9, which is 1. So we're going to put 1 here. That's 1. And we swap the 9 with 16. And then we have to check 16 with 12. And 16 is um, greater then 12, so we have to swap those two as well. So that's the second time, so plus one, that we uh, uh, swap these two elements. I mean, swap the element 16. And so that equals two. So the uh, now that we're finished with this insertion, so uh, the amount of time that it, or the amount of uh, uh, operations that it took is two. So. What does this mean? That means that the number of operations required depends only on the number of levels the new element must rise to satisfy the heat property, which in this case, our heat property is a max heat. And so thus our uh, running time is big O log N. And you say, but wait, I'm still not fully understanding this. So let me explain. We have an we have a heap whose number uh, or who number of elements is one, two, three, four, five, six. So we're gonna say n, which is the input size or the number of elements, is equal to one, two, three, four, five, six. Six. So how many uh, operations did it take to get to the top to where we were done inserting the element 16? Well, that took two, um, two operations. So operation number equals two. So what we can see is, is that the number of operations it took was log base two of size n. In this case, our size n is 6, which is about 2. So uh, more specifically, um, we would have to round down. And now we get exactly 2. So it only takes two operations. So we had an input of size, let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, and we had seven, we'll say this is 10 and eight. And now I wanted to insert maybe the element 17. Actually, I'm not gonna have this one here. Let's say I wanna insert the element 17. So 17 would go here. And what I'll do is we'll swap one time here, the four and the uh, 17. So that's one operation. I'm gonna put a one here. And that was a four and a 17. Then we have to swap these two. That gives me six, this gives me 17. So that was uh, two swaps. And then we have to swap these two, 16 and 17. So put 16 here and 17 there and add another swap there. So that's three swaps. And so now what we can see is that with this heap of size eight, so our N equals the size, um, N equals one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the number of operations that it took um, was 
log base 2 of 8, which equals 3. So this is why our uh, insertion running time is big O of log in. So thank you guys. Um, please leave any questions or comments. Um, please leave likes. I definitely like likes. And thank you for watching the video. See you guys next time.